Today we're going to go ahead and uh, install Gray software on my MacBook Pro. We're going to go to my website www.pcedit.com. From there you can see I'm going to my blog which is what's on PC Eddie's mind. From there I have an article about Prey software. I'm clicking on the link as we speak which is prayproject.com. As you can see the Prey software is supported by many different uh, operating systems and we'll click on the download Prey software for the Apple Minimize my web browser and I'm going to go ahead and begin the installation. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly read through the license agreement and click agree. Now the installation is beginning. You have two options. You can install Pray Installer or Pray Uninstaller. We're going to click on the Pray Installer. We're going to click Open. And as you can see, you have two options. One of them is the Pray Plus Control Panel Recommended or the Pray Standalone Advanced to Users Only. We're going to stick with the Recommended and click Next. Uh, we got New User and Existing User. We're going to stick with New User. Um, Go ahead, you would type in your name. In this case, I'm going to type in mine, PC Eddie. I'm going to type in my email address, PC Eddie NC at gmail.com. I'm going to type in my password and confirm my password. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. It's that simple. Now on the Apple operating systems, I have to go and type in my password to authorize to install this program. Installation is successful. I'm going to go and click finish. As you know, to finish the installation, you need to go ahead and log into your email and click the link provided by the Prey software. Once you do that, you're going to type in the, your email address and the password that you created. And you can click remember me, but I'm just going to go ahead and click to log in. Now you can see my MacBook Pro, as MacBook Pro is there. I can add up to three devices on this free uh, account. Some of the options you want to go Pro, and I'll go ahead and click on settings. Now you can see some of your setting options. And again, some of these options here are if you have the Pro version. If I go to my account, it shows my name, my email address, and if I want to change my password. If I decide I don't want this program, I can go and delete the account as well. Here's Pray Support. Or when you click on the troubleshooting link, we go back to Devices and access some more settings. You're going to go ahead and click on the, uh, in this case, my MacBook Pro. Now you can see definitely some more settings. Again, we're still in uh, my settings. You can see. If the laptop is missing, I can go to activation mode here. Also, frequency of response or actions. Looks like that's in minutes. Set. Also, some other information here. Information to gather. You have the geo and for geotagging here. That's on. Also, network is on. Get active connections is selected, yes. Also, get nearby Wi Fi hotspots. Uh, trace route is activated as well. If you look under sessions, that's on. Get screenshots is on. 
get modified files is, is selected is on as well and intervals is set to five minutes and the modified file path I got it to my home folder also webcam is turned on keep in mind on some of your webcams there might be a light that may turn on if webcam is active that may alert some people to that you may be spying on them. Now actions to perform, this is if uh, your laptop or computer is stolen. Alarm, alert, lock, and secure. Again, you're, there are some really good options and when you're done you're going to select save. Uh, now my changes are saved. But like I said, this is for free. You're getting a lot of benefit by using the Prey uh, software. Uh, you can try it for free, and if you like it, you can go ahead and pay for their pro program. Uh, pro. Also, you can see that you don't even see the Prey software; it's hidden. So, if somebody's trying to look for the security software, you won't be able to find it.